you might have seen it asking yourself, is Joe going to tell you about this blue wire? It's got the wire nut on there. I'll tell you about it. If you notice that, give yourself a black, I mean a gold star. <laughs> a black star. Who's ever had a black star anyways? Okay, well this blue wire, on there it says for light. And if this had a light kit on there, this is the wire that would be hooked up to that. Okay? And there's some other directions on a light kit. We're not going to go into much of that right now, are we? But um, for now, we're going to take that back up there and we're going to plug this back in. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Plug that sucker back in. If I really think about it, the way that these prongs are, there's really only one way you can plug this back in. Only one. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm wrong. Guess you could plug it in and these pr protrusions won't fit in the right place. You've got to make sure you look at this closely to make sure that when you plug this back in, it's all, all the wires are going to be connected properly. Give that a good little push, like that. Okay, so far so good. We're going to put that together now. There's one more thing I want to do before we do that. I know, I could go ahead and screw that together right now, but because I took it off and worked on it and did all this other stuff, I'm going to walk over here and turn this light switch on again. The ceiling fan switch. Just going to make sure everything's working like, like we saw it work before. You know, it's nice and easy to double check this right now, isn't it? Just to make sure, and yes, in fact, this is going at high speed now. That's great. All right, I'm going to turn it back off. Now, when we push this back up there, does it matter exactly in the position where, where it was before? I mean, we've got three screws here. We could put it this way, this way, this way. Does it really matter? I mean, I'm going to try to keep it the same as what it was before. Do you remember before this was facing out about there? And I'm going to go ahead and do that again. So I just have to kind of fold these wires up in here so that they're not binding on anything. You know, push that up there like that. Okay, that's going to work. Should have been ready with the screw, huh? Got to grab my screw here. Spaghetti this bit again, like so. Push that up. And these screws are really small. You just got to be careful with them. You get it up there high enough, you should be able to start one. Okay, what I usually do is just start one. I don't try to tighten that up just yet. Because if I tighten that up, it might not be the, in the exact right position for me to get these other screws in. You know what I mean? Because there's a little bit of slop up here that I could slot, that I could twist this to the right or left, a sixteenth of an inch or, or so, you know? And so, I want to just get this up there. by hand first. I like to do all three. Don't just do two because the other, this side here had to be pushed up higher. And if you get those two screws tight without this last one, you might not be able to push it up all the way. You know what I mean? Okay. Now that I got them, I can go ahead and tighten this up. And just tighten them up snug. Don't try to overdo it. 
You know, they're little screws. You'll strip the head off if you do. Or you could break it off even if you He-Man it. You know. Okay. We're just about done with this. There. So far, so good, huh? Remember, this is exactly how it looked when we started our job. The pull string is still not there. It's in that same position. No pull chain. And we don't need that pull chain now, do we? We want to go through all the problems on trying to pull that apart and fix that pull chain and get that pull chain down in there again. You know, what's the sense of that if the same thing could happen another day? You saw the effort that I had to go through to fix this, right? Well, hey, there's a, there's a few touch and go times in fixing things. I want you to go beyond your comfort level. I want you to see that if I can get through it, you can get through it. All right? I'm not going to show you anything that I don't think you can do. Just remember that. I gotta go for now, but I'll be back with more videos.